Hello, oh yeah, an IP67 rated, waterproof, dustproof, shockproof, AIO. Yeah, buddy, and it's called the Aegis Boost. It's from the Aegis line. You know Geek Vapes line, the Aegis Legend, the Aegis Mini, yada, 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 those devices that are pretty much indestructible. This is part of that line now. And like I said, it's an AIO kit, all in one. So if you're one of those vapors out there, you're like a construction worker, let's say, and you're looking for an all in one kit, a small, discreet, petite that can take a big ass punch, that can give a big ass punch. Look no further than this Aegis Boost from again, Geek Vape. Yeah, buddy, this right here, rip you like it. Vapes all the way up to 40 watts. You know what? Okay, I'm gonna show you what you get. What you get with this kit. Yeah, you ready? First of all, here's the sample packaging mine came in. And inside that packaging, you're gonna get your boost kit. Comes with a USB cable to charge it. Now that's another thing, a USB cable? Come on, man. I wish these devices upgraded to USB-C ports. Geek Vape, talking to you. With this kit, you get an additional mesh coil head, a tool to take the coil out, and last but not least, an additional mouthpiece. The Aegis Boost has a built-in 1500 milliamp hour battery, has a zinc alloy frame with stitched leather, and it's rubberized. It's got that rubberized coating around the outside. Just like the Aegis Legend and the Aegis Mini and the whole Aegis line. Same materials, guys. Oh yeah, and then on the side, you got the controls. You know, the fire button, the menu screen, the wash up, wash down button. It's got venting on both sides, both sides of the base, with the charge port on the right here. At the base of the device, it's pretty simple. Pretty simple and plain. At the top, it's got a plastic cover that obviously keeps the mouthpiece covered. Duh. Pull that cover off where you got one of two mouthpieces. This one is the flat kind. The flat, comfy, and then Geek Vape offers a second rounded mouthpiece, which in my opinion it's not as comfortable yeah i'm a bigger fan of the flat mouthpiece but hey man teaches their own if you don't like the flat they got you rounded oh yeah this is not a 510 drip tip compatible device just letting you know and to be honest with you that may be a con to some of you guys but to me nah but yeah baby each tip press fits in just like a 510 connection drip tip would now to get this refillable pod section off you press where it says press right here or press button press it and boom the pod pops right off of course here's the inside of the mod where the, 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 the pod goes what was that rip <laughs> you got your connections and everything is nice and clean as far as the pod, she's got a 3.7 mil juice capacity. That is a lot of juice, guys. A lot for an AIO kit. Remember the tool I showed y'all earlier? Yeah, that comes with this kit. And what you do is you take the tool, place it here, pop the coil head out. Easy peasy, what a squeezy. So the coil head that comes pre-installed into this puppy checker is a 0.4 ohm mesh canthal mesh coil head. Great flavor, great vapor. You're going to see it in a second. Actually, you know what? I'll show you right now. How about that? I'm vaping her at <laughs> 5 watts. Now, that ain't going to fly. Go take her up. Let's try 27. Airflow wide open. Flavor's on point. Vapor, you gotta see it. It's crazy. Crazy for an AIO kit. It's sub on tank territory. Yeah, she's a chucking man. And this is a brand new coil. Hadn't even broken it in. Top notch flavor for an AIO kit. Now, the other coil that comes with this is a 0.6 ohm canthal mesh coil. And that's also good for restricted lung hits, just like the 0.4. Actually, both heads are very, very similar. I mean, you, you can't tell a difference. Maybe the 0.6 is a little bit smaller, but as far as vape quality, they vape about the same. Oh, yeah, and speaking of mounts and lungs, you got adjustable airflow. Got this adjustable airflow dial where you can adjust one way or the other. And since it's got adjustable airflow, you can close it off to do mounts and lungs, like I said. But when you close this puppy chucker off, here I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna close it off pretty much all the way drop the wattage gotta drop the wattage 18 watts okay here i'm gonna do a mouth along I was going to dupe you. You see that? I was going to say, hey, but when you close it off, it's not that good. It's too loose. Uh-uh. This thing is tight. I got you, didn't I? <laughs> you guys thought I was going to say it's too loose, didn't you? That's the beauty of this thing. This is another device, another AIO kit that's legit, that's very versatile. Point is, it's super durable. It's light, compact, discreet, putty. Like I said, you get two mesh coil heads that vape great, man. Great flavor, great vapor. Tank holds 3.7 mils of e-liquid. That's a lot of juice for an AIO kit. But the best thing about it is not the stuff I just mentioned. It's the fact that you could dial it down and do legit mouth and lungs or take it wide open and get a massive response restricted lung hit. There's so many vapors out there that love their mouth and lungs, and there's so many vapors out there that love their lung hits. This can cater to any of those. Any of those people out there. I mean, that's really good. Really freaking good for how much airflow and how big the bore is on these cool heads. But you guys know me. I prefer my restricted lung hits. So I'm going to take her wide open. Get that mother checker going. Take the waters back up. Let's go to 36 watts. I know I was at 25. We're going to take it up even more. Here we go. I mean, she will take it. 36 watts. And it goes up to 40 like you guys saw. Or did you see it? No, you hadn't seen it yet. You about to see it. But here she is at 40 watts. 0.4 ohm. That's really where you're going to get the most flavor. Look at that vapor, man. For an AIO, that's the most vapor I've gotten off of an AIO kit. 
Yeah. That's nutty. <laughs> you know what? I almost forgot to show you the freaking where the plug is in the pod. Duh, rip. <laughs> At the top of the pod, it's got this little uh, plug that you pull out and you fill her up. Love, love, love how you got the top filled at to the top, man. It's easy to fill her up. Now, I will point this out. When you fill her up, maybe a little bit hard to see the level of your juice because it is tinted. It would have been better if this were a clear pod. But you know what? It wouldn't have looked as good. To turn this little thumper on, five clicks does it. Five clicks the fire button does it. By the way, really digging this fire button. And you guys know how I feel about the Aegis Legend fire button, my favorite fire button of all time. This one right here, it's a smaller version of that. I mean, she's clicky dicky clicky. And did you hear the response, the reaction time of this fire button and the freaking way it hits? There's no ramp up. That is like smoking. You hit that fire button and you get in that vapor and nicotine. Done deal, baby. So yeah, once you turn her on, the screen is going to show the puff counter, the resistance, the battery gauge, and the wattage. She adjusts in 0.5 increments all the way up to 40 watts. She does round robin. Love that. To lock the wattage, hold down the up and down buttons. It locks the wattage, but you could still fire her up. Oh, yeah, another thing I got to point out for this. Geek Vape's got a rebuildable section coming for this. Oh, man. Now, I didn't receive it, but they got it coming to me. I can't wait to get it. Now, as far as price point goes for this puppy checker, I'm seeing her sell online anywhere between 35 and 40 bucks. Most places are selling her for about 40 bucks. Oh, yeah, I'll post a link down in the description of the site that I know of that is curled that will be carrying this. I'm done. That's it. I am out, mother chuckers. This is Rip Chippers. And remember, smoking is dead. Vaping is the future. And the future is...